Multimedia authoring has always required many different tools. But even with the most simple set of equipment, there are still questions. Like how do I get the video from the camera to the computer? And what about all the camera modes and settings? And don't forget the buttons. What's changed in the last few years is that all of those tool sets have become integrated into single devices like the iPad. What we do know is if you're not prepared to be wrong, you'll never come up with anything original. And that's impactful for instructional design because you could take something that could only happen outside of class and now consider doing it inside of class. I'm using an app called Luma, which adds filters and effects to the internal video camera. And then, instead of having to deal with and deferring the activity till much later, they can go directly into editing their material. Multimedia production has always been an interplay of video, audio, graphics. A lot of that production can happen on a single device. And the implications for in-class instructional design are significant. 